What's up crafters? Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on liquid trays by Beautiful Vive Crafts. We're going to need part A and part B, epoxy resin. Baby oil. Glitter. UV resin. Tweezers. UV flashlight. Scissors, clear transparency projector film, mine's pre cut. I'll put the measurements below. Dry erase marker, scale, paper towels, gloves, stir stick, and a cup. Okay, for this next part, we're going to take a pre-epoxy tray for this video, but I will show you how to do a trays in another video if you'd like. Just comment below. And then we're going to take our transparency projector film, our dry erase marker. I have a pre-cut sheet I like to use in trays. Makes everything easier. I'm all about that. Then we're just going to trace our sheet. doesn't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. The dry erase marker will come off the other sheet if you do get it on there. Then we're going to take our scissors and then we're just going to cut along the line. And if it's not perfectly cut and your transparency sheet has some um, gaps in it when you set it in the tray, I will tell you how later on to fill those gaps because you don't have to throw your sheet out. You can just fill it with the UV resin. I've done it before. Then we're just going to go around the edge where that excess eraser marker is and we're just going to wipe it away. See how easy it comes off? Just wipes away. Y'all, please bear with me. This is my first tutorial ever. I've never done one of these. I'm trying. And I wanted to share how awesome this craft was. Oops, I forgot a side. Then we're going to want to move everything out of our way because we always want a clean work area. Once your, tray, or your sheet is cut, we're going to just set it inside of the tray. Make sure it fits properly. If it doesn't, you can always trim it. It's fine. Then I like to take gloves and put them on because we're about to work with UV resin and it can irritate your skin. Then I'm going to grab my UV flashlight. Then I like to push down any area that's trying to come up. Then I like to start on one side and attach the sheet to the tray. I like to hit it with the light and then I let it sit there for five minutes to cure. Just going over the area that I just put the UV resin down.
This is just securing the sheet to the tray to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Then we're going to go along the tray's edge in the top of the sheet. Just put a thin line of UV resin. Hit it with that light. Sometimes I like to smooth it down with my finger to get a crisp, clean edge, but not necessary because once you put that two-part two epoxy resin, it will blend right in. Just keep hitting it with that light, go back and forth. Make sure you hit the new area and go back over the old area just to make sure that it's secure. This is going to be like the most repetitive part of this whole process just to make sure that baby oil does not leak out all over you. I like to give the screen a tap to see if there's any weak areas. If there are, I hit it again with that UV resin. And you'll know if it's a weak area. The screen will lift up off of the tray. You will see it bubble. And don't be afraid to hit that tray with your finger. You want it to be secure. Again, give her a good tap. Then we're going to go along the sides. We're going to eventually work our way up three fourths of the way, wanting to keep one fourth of it, the screen, loose so we can put our baby oil and our glitter in. Just hit it again with that UV light. Give the screen a tap, hit it again if it's weak. This is one of the most important steps in the process because 
if there are leaks and you put that baby oil in, it's going to be everywhere. Smooth her out. Hit it with that light. I'm super excited to see what all of you guys create. You guys have to tag me in it. Just keep hitting it with that light. And we're going to rotate to the other side and bring it up three-fourths of the way on that side. Smooth it out. Like I said, that's not necessary. I just like mine to be crisp, but you, I have done it where the UV resin was on the sheet, and once you put that epoxy or that two-part epoxy on there, it will disappear. Remember to hit the older spots that you've put UV resin down just to make sure it's cured. If some of your UV resin seeps down into the tray, it's fine. Just make sure you hit it really good with that light because your glitter will stick. And like I was saying earlier, if you cut your sheet too small and you need to make up for it, you can literally put that UV resin in that gap, hit it really fast with that light, stay focused on that area, and it will seal it up. And then just make sure you just watch that area and put a little bit more because that will probably be one of your trouble areas. Mm -hmm. Hit it again with that flashlight, or any UV light, I mean, sorry. This is like a 20 to 25 minute process just to make sure it's all secure and cured properly because you do not want that UV, I mean, you do not want that baby oil all over you. Never stop checking for weak spots. When in doubt, UV it out.
Then I just slowly work my uh, my way up to that three quarters of a way mark. I like to focus on smaller areas as I make my way up. But I still go back and hit the older areas. Just keep hitting it with the light. Now, this is how I do it. I'm sure there is other ways that other people do it. And there might be easier ways. I'm just trying to inspire those who need to be inspired. And I hope to be inspired by other people. Just hit it with that light. The closer I get to the top, I like to hold my tray down, or I like to hold my transparency sheet down just to make sure that the screen is nice and tight. Keep hitting it with the light. Keep checking. Never stop checking. We don't want baby oil over us. Just remember, this is all trial and error. Don't be upset if it doesn't work out. There was multiple trays that didn't work out and it's fine. But you do not have to throw your tray away if you mess up. If your tray is pre-epoxied, you can just rip that transparency sheet off and scrape off the UV resin and start over. I've done it. It works.
But if you really just take your time, everything should be sealed. That's key. Taking your time. Don't rush it. It is, like I said, a 20 to 25 minute process. Sorry if you hear my neighbor's dog barking in the background. They're just always barking. Just keep hitting it with that light. You can never get enough UV light. Okay, once your tray is already secured on three sides, we're going to get our glitter, a cup, a stir stick, and some baby oil. I put my glitter in like this because if you put the glitter in the tray and then the baby oil, it likes to stick to the back of the tray. So I like to pre-mix it just to get it going. Give it a good stir. Look how pretty it is. Then I get my tweezers and I like to lift up the unopened sealed side with them because sometimes the tray likes to stick to the back and then I pour my liquid baby oil in with my glitter. See how it's kind of sticking to the back of the tray? Check to see if there's any leaks. If you have done this correctly, there should not be any leaks. And then I like to pour the baby glitter over the boy I like to pour all of the baby oil over the glitter. Sorry, excuse me. To mm -hmm. loosen it up against the tray. Then I fill the baby mm -hmm. oil halfway up. Mm -hmm. 
then from here on out, you're going to want to hold your tray at a 45 degree angle while you're putting the UV resin on. Because if you lay it flat, that oil's going to seep out everywhere and it's going to be a mess and you're going to be mad at yourself. Believe me. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> then I'm just going to hit it on one side with that UV resin and that light. Keep tapping, keep checking. Don't rush this area. I like to make sure the screen is nice and tight when I'm doing the top of and sealing the top of this. Now your screen will be a little bouncy, but you're going to build up with that two part epoxy resin. It might take a couple pours, so do not be discouraged. Hit it again with that light. Everyone, we almost got ourselves a liquid tray. It's gonna start to be able to move in a little bit. Now we're gonna just hit the other side and work our way up to the top, making sure it's secured. And like I said, this is just a simple glitter baby oil tray. If you would like to learn how to do the images in the tray, that will be another tutorial. So please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to hold that tray and make sure it's tight. Just work our way up to the top, taking our time. And if you want to see any other videos, just comment below. Hit it again with that light, just making sure it's all secure. It's better to do it right the first time than having to do it multiple times. So, And like I said, don't be discouraged if you mess your tray up. It is easily fixable. Messes happen. It is all trial and error. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. And, you know, like I said, it is trial and error. So keep on keeping on. Now we're going to sell the top. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> Thank you.
Give her a good tap, make sure she's secured. And I feel like UV resin goes a long way, if anybody wants to know. Just saying. Hit it again with that light. The magic's about to begin. Now your glitter's gonna settle on the bottom, but once you get that two-part epoxy resin on there, you can give it a good shake. But while this thin screen is on there, do not give it a good shake. You can shake it, but don't give it a good shake. It will loosen up eventually. And there she goes. Oh, look at her. She's a moving. And I will teach you guys of other things I add in, and but I will save that for another video. Look at her shake. Okay, so I pre-recorded this video, and I didn't realize my camera cut out, so I'm going to tell you how I do my epo two-part epoxy resin. I measure out 20 milliliters of A and 20 milliliters of B. I stir it in a cup for about five minutes, making sure I get it nice and stirred and mixed together. I let it sit for a couple minutes, let the air bubbles rise, I pour it, I spread it out nice and evenly, and I take a torch to it. Let it sit for 24 hours, repeat the process. If I have to do it again, I'll do it again. I hope this has inspired people to craft and make some awesome shit. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe,